click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a zip transform of co-sinusoidal signal or a co-sinusoidal sequence. Basically what do you mean a co-sinusoidal? It is nothing but a simple a cos wave or a cos sequence. Now basically we are not able to find out a cos wave in z transform because z transform definition started from minus infinity to infinity. <laughs> We can find out the z transform of cos wave either on right hand side or either on left hand side. How you can achieve it? Just by multiplying unit step value. If you multiply cos wave by u of n, then of course you will get the resultant in right hand side. If you multiply this value or cos value by minus u of minus n, minus 1, then you will get the left hand sided value. Now, what I have done, I am assuming and I am going to consider my cos wave is a right handed sequence, which means I am going to calculate the cos wave only for a right side or a causal period. My x of n is cos of omega n into u of n. This was my function. As I told you, I am going to consider my cos wave, I am going to calculate the z transform of cos wave, but only on a right hand side, not the left hand side. Basically, left hand side also if you're going to calculate or you will get the same result only the minus sign will be there now what is the next step we'll find out the z transform of this cos wave Now, so according to definition, z transform x of n is represented by x of z and the definition is summation value varies from n equals to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z to the power minus n. Basically, what was my x of n? x of n is cos of omega n into u of n. That what I have substituted over here. Now, and that is multiplied with z to the power minus n. What is the next part? Basically, as I told you, u of n is always given only to change the summation value. So u of n is exist only on the right hand side that is the period from 0 to infinity which means I'm going to substitute or I'm going to change the summation value from 0 to infinity. But the next thing is cos omega n. We have studied one formula of cos omega in complex format e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus i theta upon 2. So I'm going to substitute both the values in my formula. So these two values I'm going to substitute in our formula. So look at here, I have substituted my u of n value which is varied from 0 to infinity and after that I have substituted the cos ohm value and that is e to the power j omega n plus e to the power minus j omega n whole divided by 2 and later on I have multiplied by z to the power minus n. Now what is the next step? I'm going to take half common because it's a constant part and then I'll multiply z to the power minus n on both the sides. Now, using linearity property, we can solve both this part separately. Now, one formula we have studied in previous videos also, I have told you that formula and that formula is This was our formula. Summation n value varies from 0 to infinity a raised to n is 1 upon 1 minus a. Now look at it. If I am able to take n common in the power, then what will result present inside the bracket that will be my a. So on both the sides, I am going to take n common in the power. Now, look at here. From first bracket, I have taken n common from the power. So inside this bracket, we have e to the power j omega and z to the power minus 1. And in second bracket, if I take n common, then values are same. Only the powers will be a minus, but inside this bracket. Now, let's consider e to the power j omega is my a and e to the power minus j omega is my b. Why I'm doing this? Because 
if i substitute e to the power j omega and if i to the power minus j omega and if we continue these values then maybe due to this value you may face some difficulties that's why i'm going to replace it by some different variable let's say a and e to the power minus j omega by b now we'll move on to next now i'm going to replace this e to the power j omega by a and e to the power minus j omega by b what i'm going to substitute this value reason is i just want to remove the difficulties now the next one so i'll replace this e to the power j omega a and e to the power minus j omega by b As I told you, we have studied one formula that is n varies from summation value varies from n equal to 0 to infinity a raised to n and that formula was 1 upon 1 minus a. So these are nothing but my a value and this is also nothing but my a value. A value is a into z inverse and this one is b into z inverse. So I'm going to use that formula. And I have substituted the values of a and here also a. Now what is the next step? Just do one thing. Multiply numerator denominator by z. Now simply do the cross multiplication to get the result. So after cross multiplying, I have got this result z into z minus b plus z into z minus a and in denominator we have z minus a and z minus b. Now simply multiply numerator and then we will add and denominator just multiply these two values. Now look at here z into z it becomes z square. Now z into minus b is minus z b. Similarly, z into z is z square and z into minus a is minus z a. Look at it. Z into z is z square. Now minus a into z is minus a z. Minus b into z is minus b z and minus a into minus b is plus a b. Now what is the next step? I'll take z minus z common from these two bracket as well as minus z common from these two terms. And z square and z square becomes twice of z square. Now, what is the next step? Resubstitute that values of a and b. And what was that? What was my a? a was my e to the power j omega. And b was my e to the power minus j omega. Now, I have substituted the values of a and b, where my a was e to the power j omega and b was e to the power minus j omega. So, after substituting, at the end, what you will get? e to the power j omega into e to the power minus j omega. Now, look at here. If the bases are same, then orders always get added. So, j omega minus j omega gets cancelled and we have will get e to the power 0. And what you will get? e to the power 0 is nothing but 1. Now, the next step. We have studied one formula and it is related to cos. A cos of omega in exponential form. This was the formula. Now look at it in numerator and denominator. We have the, this part e to the power j omega plus e to the power minus j omega. Now numerator part is there in numerator as well as denominator. So if I multiply or if I shift these two on left hand side then you can see that twice of cos of omega becomes e to the power j omega plus e to the power minus j omega. So I'm going to replace this e to the power j omega plus e to the power minus j omega by twice of cos of omega.
Now look at it. In numerator part, we already have a two, so you can take two common. Now, look at here. From numerator, you can take 2 to common. And if I take 2 common, then these 2 and numerator 2 may get cancelled. So, look at here. I have taken 2 common. And you can say that if I take 2 common, so we have in numerator z square minus z cos of omega. And if these 2 to get cancelled, then my z transform will be z square minus z cos of omega upon z square minus 2 z cos of omega plus 1. And this is nothing but the result of z transform of cos of omega in into u of n. So, remember this formula because it is important from z transform and inverse z transform point of view so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe to ikida for further more videos thank you so much